Guys, we do have some breaking news regarding what? the company this morning. Let's get to our Bertha Coombs. Hey, Bertha. Hey, Carl. Amazon taking another big step in health care. It will be rolling out its telehealth service, Amazon Care, in all 50 states this summer for its own employees, and it will begin offering it to other employers. Amazon Care is a two-year-old pilot program uh, for workers in Washington state that began as a virtual urgent care service with some in-person follow-up with a nurse, but it has now evolved into a virtual primary care service where employees can talk to the same doctor and care team and get in-person testing, immunizations and checkups, and online services like pregnancy coaching. That's what they'll be offering other employers as well. Being able to serve lots of Amazonians is a great starting point. Um, as we talk to different enterprises, a lot of what they're expressing interest in is this new model, this hybrid model of in person with the virtual care um, and the flexibility and the adaptability. Initially, the national rollout will just entail the virtual piece with in-person support available, that hybrid model, just in Washington State and Amazon's second headquarters in the metro Washington, Baltimore area. But with the explosive growth in telehealth during the pandemic, there is heated competition to build out this virtual primary care system in the employer market. That's part of the impetus behind Teladoc's acquisition of Livongo last fall and Doctor on Demand's deal this week to merge with Grand Rounds. United Health is launched its own service, while well, CVS Health is running a pilot program. Amazon is going to be competing against these incumbents, but they're able to offer a bigger mix of services. Still, this is very much a developing market. And Carl, Amazon says it's aiming to basically change the delivery of health care, with that emphasis on delivery. Uh, fascinating, uh, Bertha. Thank you for that. It sets up a really nice conversation uh, for us, Jim, uh, because I think it's uh, bared this morning adds Amazon to a fresh pick. And their general line of thinking is that by their calculations, about 75 percent of revenue is a recurring revenue model. Uh, they're, they're saying take a fresh look at Amazon as uh, Amazon as a service is what they call it. Target 4000. Right. And I think that Amazon comes down because of the future pressure because of the, of uh, of Jay Powell. But I do think that Amazon, uh, in that piece, it did say that the year-over-year -year comparisons are actually easier than a lot of others. But uh, a birth story, this is huge, okay? Because the Death Star visited CVS in 11 20, uh, 2018. When I say they visited, they talked about, I'm talking about Amazon moving into healthcare. Do you know the stock never regained that level? It, it, it crashed all the way to the low 50s. You're and talking about CVS right when now, C yeah. Yes, CVS. make sure people follow. Okay. Right, I'm sorry. And yep. that, that was the Death Star attacking CVS. Right. Amazon, yeah, when they and, came at them, right? Right, and now Teladoc? Sending... I mean, do you want to be in Teladoc? I don't know. I don't know if you do. I mean, guys, you know, it's funny. We didn't focus on it at the time when Haven, remember the joint venture? We made a lot of it when it was announced. Yeah. J.P. Morgan and Berkshire and Amazon. I mean, early this year, that thing ended. Uh, only had, what, 57 actual employees based in Boston, but... Then they all went their separate ways, and this is obviously Amazon following through, perhaps on some things that they learned there, but certainly trying to continue to move towards better outcomes in healthcare, which was the whole joint venture's purpose for being. It didn't succeed. Repeat doctors, uh, people trust Amazon. The uh, Baird piece took about 200 million Prime members. I mean, I would, I would look at this as a way to uh, look. We use Teladoc. A lot of people use Teladoc, but you, you sample. Call people sample, and, and Amazon is a company that does a lot of things right when they get it right, and you just say, you know what, I'm going to start using it for X. Uh, I was with someone on uh, my friend Pomp who does uh, uh, Bitcoin work, and Amazon Web Services. I mean, this is, it's connected to Bitcoin uh, because it's the way, yep, yeah, well, they have computing power, the greatest computing power. So I say Amazon Web Services uh, uh, coupled with, with uh, a doctor-on-demand Teladoc product, it could be a winner, Carl. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.